someone recently recommended that I try out perplexity as opposed to ChatGPT or Google's Gemini. And I thought, let's play around and see what it can give us. I'm at the moment using the free version, but there is a pro version for $20 a month or $200 a year. And it seems like you get quite a bit extra with the pro version. It, the pro search is our most powerful search, ideal for longer answers to complex questions. Okay, that's quite important. But let's see what the free version gives us. It says ask anything, but it also has got a, a focus, set a focus as your sources or attach a file. That's lovely. Let's add our question. Um, and then you can focus it as all academic, writing, Reddit, YouTube. Okay, we would like to have an academic focus because I've put down here a question that we are currently exploring as part of one of our research projects. And let's see what it gives us. Oh, interesting. It, um, we answered for survey tools. And it gives the research capacity and culture to survey method in a Taiwan's hospital. So this is something we have to explore. And as always with AI tools, I'm always a bit wary about hallucinations. And um, so always double check the facts. But this is uh, structured surveys. Another study conducted both structured surveys. Okay, this is not super helpful. But... Let's see, it gives us the sources, and that helps a lot. So this comes from Semantic Scholar, it's from the NIH, um, this from, so this is quite helpful. The fact that there's sources involved, um, yes, this is brilliant. I know this article quite well. So this too really helps because it gives you the sources of information. This is brilliant. So the fact that it um, provides us with the, the sources of information is really helpful because um, we often, when we use ChatGPT or um, Google's Gemini, it doesn't provide sources. And sometimes when you ask for sources, it makes up some citations. So this is really good. Definitely worth trying out if you are looking for um, answers to a research question. But what if we attach an article? So I still have my focus on academic. I've attached a paper that was on my, on my laptop. And here we can ask a few questions. Summarize this file. What is the conclusion? Check this file for typos. Isn't this very important? But maybe we want to summarize this article. Um, I want the, the core message from this article. Dear looks like a, almost like it's creating a, a bit of an abstract. Well, that's good. It's fine. It can work. Um, what was the purpose? Let's see if it can give me the purpose. So I'm only using the suggested questions now. But you can definitely make up your own. Let's see what happens if I type in my own question. How would you translate fi these findings into clinical practice? But then when I try to search it, it tells me that pro search, our most powerful search is ideal for longer answer and more complex questions. And five searches left for today, but it reloads every four hours. Okay, so it doesn't want me to do these complex things. But there's lots that one can explore with a free version. So I would definitely encourage you to try perplexity, see if it works for you. The fact that it gives you some sources is really nice, um, but play around and figure it out for yourself. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.